lollipop chicken. With fried chicken just cut differently. Typically wings are used, I didn't have any on hand, so used drumsticks. As usual, ingredients lists are given for you along with my very excited demeanor. Fried chicken, or lollipop chicken, usually does that to me. Here's one drumstick for demonstration. Let's turn that into a lollipop. Cut in a circular motion about a quarter way up from the bottom. You will be removing this part out and clean up the tendons. Use a kitchen towel for better grip to pull out the skin and tendons. Also use a kitchen scissor to clean up everything nicely. Once done, pull the meaty part away from the bottom part so that it looks like a lollipop, kinda like a lollipop. Rest of the drillipops, drumstick converted to lollipops. Season generously with salt and pepper, one teaspoon onion powder, one teaspoon garlic powder, three quarter teaspoon ginger powder, one teaspoon chili powder, quarter teaspoon cumin powder, quarter teaspoon coriander powder. Didn't have any buttermilk, so improvise with juice from half a lime and half cup milk. And now mix everything for overnight marination, or at least a minimum of two hours. Now for the gluten-free wet batter. Half cup rice flour, quarter cup potato starch, one teaspoon garlic powder. The red stuff in the bowl is one teaspoon gochugaru, Korean chili powder, one of my favorite spices. I missed taking the shot of adding that in the bowl, so just showing how it looks. Quarter teaspoon salt, mix everything. Slowly add water to form wet batter. I wanted a crispy exterior, but on the thinner side, so the batter was a bit watery have to add one more teaspoon of potato starch to reach DBC, desired batter consistency. Hmm. Dip the drumsticks in batter, coat them nicely, and fry them on medium high heat for 8 to 10 minutes, moving them around time to time. It's something else watching chicken being fried, crispy golden crust forming, the weight becomes tantalizing. Don't they look delicious? Can't wait to take a bite. But before that, let's check the reading on the crispy medium. Bite number one, tastes so good. Bite number two, bite number three, this was good. If you enjoyed my video, please put a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next Friday. Until then, keep cooking.